Hey everybody, I wanted to expound on what I was talking about earlier. Ever since I made the announcement that I will be um, prosecuting these people in court, I've had, it's snow outside, it's like a couple inches, looks like it's about two and a half, three inches of snow outside. And I've had these numerous cars drive past my house um, again, this is not a busy street. This is just a side, um, a side street. Like, you know, it's a residential street and it's really no reason for these people to be driving past constantly. There's nothing at the end of this block. It's, it's like, um, they use a lot of bullying tactics to try to silence you. For example, helicopters flying overhead, um, because I made the announcement that I will be taking this to court with all of my video footage. It's a lot of footage that I have not posted on YouTube. Um, it's a lot of things that I've been keeping track of in my file. And um, I'm not going to um, sugarcoat it. If you're really a, a, a gang stalker that's been pretending on my page, you may as well exit my page because what you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. I will be taking this before not only the judicial court, the um, federal court, um, but I also will be contending before the most high. But obviously you all don't believe in the most high. So I'm going to take you to the earthly court and I'm going to sue the crap out of you for this I've been through this for too long. I've lost too much behind it. And you're not gonna tell me that it's not possible or that it can't be stopped. All things are possible and yes, it can be stopped with enough evidence. So every smart comment, I screenshot everything. I keep everything documented because, because I'm not stupid. Um, I think you all underestimate your targets and you underestimate what we are able to do. You want us to think that there's nothing we can do and there is something we can do. And that is take it before a judge. And I'm pretty sure there is going to be a great judge out there that is going to hear my case as well as an attorney that is fully aware of your program and that will be more than happy to fight this um, in court for me because I have the money to pay pay them well and I'm over it with with being patient and waiting for them to do the right thing and take me off their list so since they don't want to take me off their list this will be on any news station that will hear me out because I know it's so many people out there going through this I'm not the only person and this needs to be heard this is not something that should be silenced it is a silent war it is bullying and it needs to be stopped and if I have to be the one to stand up and stand up to these bully assassins then that's what i'll do i'm going to continue to contend for my children and plead the blood of jesus over myself and my home and the bible told god told me already that no weapon formed against me shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise up against me i will condemn it this is the heritage of the service of the lord and their righteousness is of him says the lord so my righteousness is not my own it is the lord's righteousness and um of course, you all mock God and you think that God is a joke and you think that you can just play games with the children of God and, and run us around like baboons, like we're some type of lab test rat. I never signed up or or ever gave you permission to make me a test test anything. But what you did, you tested the most high and you tested the wrong one. And I'm going to be the one to take you down. I'm going to be the one to stop this. I'm going to be the one to pull you down every step of the way by the grace of God. Really, it's going to be the Lord pulling you down. But the Lord is going to use me to take you all down one by one. And um, I just thank God for this. I thank God that he is going to stop their, um, their attacks. I'm not saying that. The program itself is going to be ended totally because these people, they've been around for generations. But I'll tell you this much. I'm going to stop it about as much as possibly that I possibly can. I don't want you watching me while I'm bathing. I don't want you watching me while I'm in my room. I don't want you watching my children while they change their clothes. 
I don't want you following me around in stores and, and stalking me in my own home through my appliances that I bought with my own money. What I want you to do is go straight to hell in a handbasket, all right? I have zero sympathy for your program and anyone working for it. I don't care what your financial situation is because you didn't care about mine. So I'm going to make sure that I continue to um, fight this with all my heart. Because there's no, what is the point of moving forward in life if they're just going to follow you from place to place? No rest. So they leave me no choice but to just finally stand up and say, all right, since you don't want to um, listen to my plea for to just leave me alone now, I'm going to take you before the, the federal courts. Because stalking is a federal crime. What you're doing is crime that's why you can't be caught on camera because it's a crime you guys you you guys are are you guys smart or stupid you have it all documented on google you have it step by step i'm gonna make this so public they're not gonna have a choice but to do something about it they're gonna do something about this and ti is like i said if you are interested in helping in this battle and you want to contend with me and send in your videos letters um evidence of your gang stalking send it on in to me um you can i'll link my email below you can send me in a letter just um of expressing your heart and what this program has done to you what it has done to your life what it has done to your family i will i will do my best under the grace of God to stand in the gap and to fight for our cause until we are heard. Because the thing is they're silencing us with bullying tactics and making us feel like they're unstoppable. When the Bible says that nothing shall be impossible to those who believe. Do you believe God can do it for you? I believe he can do it for all of us. But you have to make a step of faith and step forward. Send in an email, send in, um, a video uh, evidence behind it this needs to be stopped now the the voice of skull the neuro monitoring monitoring the electric weaponry the stalking through social networks through uh, electronics um, through devices in your home like vents and so forth you know I, I sit and I have cars that that literally um, like ease past my house very slowly making their presence known shining their brights in my window if i'm out and i'm driving they have their high beams in my eyes you know while i'm trying to grocery shop with my children they're there it's like it's just a constant irking an irking and like i said if you listen to my testimony i when this first started happening to me i went through hell on earth literally um lost my children my home my vehicle everything that i owned i was on the street hospital to hospital trying to figure out what was going on i did not know that i was a victim of this program all the pain and suffering that i have been through under this program i've been ran from job to job i've had so many employers take advantage of me and not pay me what was due to me these people try to make you broke they want you homeless. They want you to kill yourself. This is all, like I said, all of their paperwork can be uh, found on Google. It is all basically um, documented. And they make you think that when you get on the specific list that there is no hope for you. But that is a lie from the pit of hell. There is always hope. The Freemasons, they think they're running something. But I'm going to tell you something. The Most High, the God that I know, the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the God of Daniel, the God of Moses, the God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac, the God of the, of the Son of God, the one who died on the cross for the new covenant, for us to be um, atoned for with his blood, that our sins would be, that, that he is the remission of our sins, that our sins are atoned for. So don't let no enemy tell you that you can't be forgiven. The devil is a liar. These people have been stalking you your entire life. They can tell you what you did yesterday. They micromanage you down to every pore in your face. That's how skilled they are in this program. But what they forgot is that God allowed it for a season. God allowed it 
because he wanted me to accumulate enough evidence and enough finances in order to prosecute them. And I, I stand on this with everything in me. I am not going to stop until I take these people down. Oh, you think it's not possible, but I'm going to tell you something. You're not reading the same Bible I'm reading. Because if you read the same Bible that I'm reading, it'll let you know clearly David took on armies of how many numbers? Samson defeated how many armies by himself? Come on now. Moses, one man. God used one man to free the children of Israel out of bondage of slavery. You are not a lab rat. You are not worthless. You are not forgotten. Let me stand and let me give you hope and let me give you courage. Make a step of faith. Make a comment. Go into my email like I said. Type up a letter. Just take out some time to do something for yourself. Even if it's, it's your last shot. And if it's the last thing that you try, at least try. Don't give up. I hope that I hear from you all. I hope this encourages someone out there. And I hope to see you all on the winning side. I can't do everything. I need you to step in and do and do your part. And I'm going to do my part so that we can be set free. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. God bless.